What can I help you with? Do you stock cable ties? Cable ties, yes. Dakota Johnson comes from a rich background of actors and actresses and is now starting to truly flourish as one herself. Her profile and career are set to explode following the huge box office success of Fifty Shades of Grey, in spite of its somewhat mixed critical reception. While her rise to stardom has enabled the masses to learn more about her in recent months, there is still quite a lot of information about Johnson that isn't widely known. So stick with me as I reveal things you don't know about Dakota Johnson. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Dakota was born on October 4th, 1989, and is the daughter of, as we all know, Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson. Now, having two famous Hollywood parents might sound like a pretty cushy life situation for a teenager, but the actress has revealed in the past that she had it pretty rough, particularly when her parents were battling personal problems. Other kids reportedly would bring in the magazine's clippings and tease her about it. Oh, the poor little thing. Now all of that pressure eventually got to her when she was 17. She checked into rehab to try and deal with it all. And while it was initially alleged to be a substance abuse problem, Johnson has claimed it was actually related to the stress and desperately needing therapy. She made her film debut at age 10 to go to starting Crazy in Alabama in 1999. It was a family affair with her and her half-sister Stella Madderis playing daughters of real-life mum Melanie. The film was directed by none other than her stepfather Antonio. But when it flopped, she put that thing on a hold and went back to school. At 17, she won a Golden Globe. Well, kind of. She was voted Miss Golden Globe in 2006. Every year, the major Hollywood award shows choose some beautiful teenagers and 20-somethings to help hand out the actual statues. More often than not, these lucky participants are actually the sons and daughters of Hollywood stars. Her mother also won that award in 1975. She auditioned for Girls. Dakota auditioned in front of Judd Apatow for a role on Lena Dernham's Girls in 2010. She didn't get the part, but she really impressed Judd, who recommended her for a role on the film The Five Year Engagement instead. She had some on-screen shenanigans with Jason Segar in this movie in which she played a neurotic, sex-obsessed girlfriend named Audrey. Pop, be more Indian than that. Lo que quieres tu cuenta de banco y tú tranquilo ya sigues esos saltos y arriba las manos. In 2012, she started work on the sitcom Ben and Kate. It was only aired for 16 episodes. But that being said, it proved to be a perfect vehicle for even more people to notice just how talented and oddly magnetic Dakota Johnson is at her best. She had sex with Justin Timberlake. Well, in a film, of course, she had her first box office hit playing Justin Timberlake's One Night Stand in The Social Network. But interestingly enough, Dakota doesn't do Facebook or any other social networking. She has said, I was on Facebook until I caught myself being a psycho stalker. That's when I chose to stop. Hmm. I'm late for biochem. Okay. You don't know my name, do you? Is it Stanford? I should just kick your ass. How do you go to a party and you meet Amelia somebody? Ritter, but you prefer Amy. You're from Orinda, your father's in commercial real estate, and your mother's 10 years sober. She's had a ton of success in the modeling world. She's landed major label campaigns for Mango, Wish, Uniquelo, and Oliver Peoples. Her family won't watch Fifty Shades of Grey. While her family are all being supportive of her landing the role of Anastasia Steele, they are keen to actually watch the film. Her dad, Don, said, it's just not the kind of movie I'd see. And her grandmother, Tippy, was in agreement saying, no, 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 I saw the trailer and I think it's lovely and that's about all I'm going to see. She loves tattoos. Dakota has several tattoos, including a large one on the inside of her left arm, reading Acta Non Verba, which is Latin for deeds, not words. On her right foot, she has a look at the moon ink surrounded by little stars, and she has swallows on her right shoulder, as well as another tattoo behind her right ear, and another one on the back of her neck. Now, she had elephants as pets. Dakota grew up two rescue elephants, Timbo and Cora, as pets. Her grandmother still keeps lions, tigers, a black leopard, and a three-legged cheetah. The future looks bright for the actress. She has a whole plate of really sweet projects on the horizon, including Cymbeline with Ethan Hawke, Black Mass with Johnny Depp, and a bigger splash with Tilda Swilton and Ralph Fiennes. She's also going to star and be an executive producer on an upcoming movie, Forever Interrupted, in which she plays a grieving widow coming to terms with loss. 
So there you have it, Mr. Coda Johnson. Did you know these things? Some yes, some no. Well, the future looks bright for the young actress and we wish her every success. I'm Lisa and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated on all the latest trailers and movie news and I'll see you next time.